Hello and welcome to your workout today. We have a super sweaty, high intensity cardio hit workout. You will not need any equipment to get through today, just your body, my guidance, and then a playlist. So you wanna make sure you have that set before we get started. I have a link down below to a suggested playlist to get the vibes right, right? I've got my water, my towel. We've got three different circuits, 45 seconds each movement. We will be repeating a lot of this, so just stick with it. I did prepare for you a really quick bonus abs at the end of it. So if you like that sort of thing, we have some, you have something to look forward to. So go ahead and grab your water towel, set your playlist, and let's warm up. Let's go ahead and start with booty kicks, heel to the glutes, knees pointed down to the ground. And bring those knees up nice and high. Start connecting with that breath. It probably took a lot to get here to this moment. So I really want you to be present, really get in your body, sweep that leg over and around, and just focus on moving and moving well. Always prioritize form. And then I want you to trace those legs down and then bring it up, stretching out those hamstrings. reaching down to the toes, and then right back up. This is a high intensity workout, but I will be walking you through some low impact options as well. So if you're trying to keep things apartment friendly, or if you're trying to you know, protect the joints, totally understand that. And so I'll be giving you options throughout today's workout. Go ahead and give me a little twist and then bring those arms around. And breathe reverse. And then go ahead and roll out those wrists and ankles. We're going to start this first circuit with a shuffle touch. So nice and light on those toes. We're going to go one, two, and then reach down to the outside foot. Do it with me. Nice and light. And I want you to think about your hips being connected to your wrists. So don't just lean forward. I actually want you squatting down on the side. Three. Two, bring this into a high plank position. We have one, two, three, four climbers, and then jack it out and out. Now you could step this out, stepping those feet out to the side and back. It doesn't matter as long as that belly button is pulling in and up. Hips are tucked under, wrists underneath the shoulders. Almost there, finish it out, and then bring it up to stand. Whoo, we have a lunge switch. I want you to reach down, weight is center, and then just switch those legs. So call it a lunge switch, but we're essentially like squatting with one leg. 
You can step this baby out. Or you can give me a little bit of a hop as you switch. Whew. Feeling it. Two, one. Don't hate me for this one. We have a burpee. I want you to bring it down. You can step or jump out. We're gonna bring that into a bare plank, hop it back out, and then bring it in and reach it on up. So it's a burpee with an added bear hop. I asked you not to hate me. You can hate me right now, but hopefully when this is over, you're feeling stronger. You're feeling better. And so hopefully that hate will fade. Whew. Whew. If you're stepping this out, feel free to step it out is just as hard. All right, those are the four movements. As you can hear, hopefully my heart rate is nice and high. Took a lot of procrastinating to get here. Oh, but I'm so glad that I am here today with you. Now you know the moves. Round two and three. I want you focusing on honing in on that form, getting low in that squat, maybe adding a little bit more hop to that lunge, a little bit more pace to that climber. Take your break if you need it. And then get right back. Right back there. Two, one, bringing it on down to that high plank. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That was hard. That was hard. It's over for now. When you sign up for a HIT workout, you're signing up for high intensity intervals. So giving everything you have just for that short amount of time and then resting really hard on that rest. We've got that super awesome, super fun bear hop, burpee, let's go. As you hop in for that bear plank, your knees are hovering, abs are pulling in. You may not know it right now, but that is a major lower abdominal core builder. Whoo! Which is why it sucks so bad. Whew. 
you're almost through. Stay with me. Give me one more. One more, one more. It's time to rest. Whoo, that rest we were looking for. All right, last time. I hope you enjoy it. Focus on filling up that time with all you have. Taking that rest if you need it, but get jumping right back into it because that full rest will be coming. Nice and light on those toes, sinking back into your heels as you reach. Connecting those wrists to those hips, nice and low. Here we go, climber. Add that jumping jack and that plank, belly button pulling in and up. Nearly there, keep it up, keep your body in that plank, Whoo! hold it if you have to, and lunge, here we go. You might need to set this sucker out, modify if you need to, keep something moving. Almost through. Woo. The final time, right here. Last time. Finish it out, finish it out. Give me at least one more. Time. Woo! Break, break, break. All right, take that rest. That full, full rest. All right. All right, all right. We have circuit two coming on up. More of this craziness. All right. We're going to start the circuit with Double jacks, if you've worked out with me before, you know this one really well. Jumping jack, squat jump, if you're keeping it low impact, 
it's a star step, squat, other side, star step, and squat. Breaks over. Reaching that down, keeping those hips still connected to those wrists. Whoo! Back down to the ground. We have a high plank spider with a crisscross. So spider crawl and then cross and switch, spider and a cross. Alternating our legs. This one is meant to be nice and slow and controlled. And I know this is a cardio workout, so you think high intensity, super fast movements. Yes. And when we're in a plank, the slower you go, the more high intensity it becomes. Goodness gracious, it's over, skater. Skater, and then hop. So skater, drive that knee up for a hop. If you're keeping it low impact, I just want you to drive that knee up. And as whether you're driving it up or adding that hop, I want you to focus on that lower abdominals, pulling that knee on up not just your legs moving, Ooh, but that core is working just as much. Yikes, we have high knees. We're gonna move side to side. Low impact is marching side to side. High impact. High knee, side to side, I can't even talk. Whoo, this is hard. Almost through, almost through to that real break. We can do it. I wanna quit, I'm gonna march it out. Still working, here we go. Oh my gosh. Feel free to pick it up. Feel free to take it down. Just keep that body moving. Take advantage of this sweet, sweet, kind, necessary rest. Ah. Okay, now you know the moves. Starting with that double Jack. Oh, cardio. Here we go. I saw a post, I think it was yesterday, about somebody who was on social media and they were talking about how they gave up their gym membership like three years ago and they've never been in like a better shape in their life. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can so attest to that. I used to be a gym rat. I was there all day, every day. Would lift for like 45 minutes, cardio 45 minutes. The same time, same session. Whoo! And I looked nothing like I do today. I've never been more fit working out at home. 
oh my gosh. So all the time I spent on the elliptical and the treadmill and the stairs. Although I love stairs. I do love stairs. They're amazing. And not to say that the cardio equipment isn't great. But I am a bare minimum, be as efficient as possible kind of girl. So you're telling me I can get my strength and my cardio in at the same time? Sign me up. What was I doing all that time? Wasting time. That was before kids. That was before I valued time. Reaching that foot all the way out. Woo. It's okay if you lose balance. Squeeze. Think about including your abdominals. Helping you control that movement. High knees. This is the worst. This is the worst. Oh, thank God for that buzzer. Woo! Barracuda. Shikaka. So I have a six and a half and eight and a half year old and we just let them watch Ace Ventura Pet Detective when nature calls for the first time. We, we skipped one big part. We like, okay, we skipped that part, if you remember anything about it. Three, two, last time, just to get through it. Just get through it, here we go. If you remember, so Ace Ventura, when nature calls, so the second one, not the first one. Second one was my absolute favorite movie as a kid, teen. Jim Carrey, oh. So I've, since I've had kids, I've been waiting for this day. We rented it. I was like, I'm not sure if they're gonna like it. They, I've never heard my children laugh as hard as they laughed the night we watched this movie. And we've been quoting it ever since. Here we go. Nice and slow. Spider, knee to shoulder, knee to elbow, and switch. Keeping those wrists underneath those shoulders. So if your wrists are at eye line, if you can see your wrists right where your eyes are, I want you to shift your weight forward and go from there. I know it's harder. That's the point. Ooh. So we've been quoting this movie nonstop since we watched it. And there's just so many good one-liners. So I'll just hear my kids walking around going, shakaka. Oh, that's great. Or, let's do all the things that you want to do. That one's really fun to incorporate into your life. Oh my gosh. I'm losing it. I'm going to 
slow it down before I pick it right back up. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. I know it's bad. Get them up. Here we go. Almost through. Almost through. Don't quit now. That rest is coming. It's coming all right. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. One more, one more circuit. Take a little pause if you need just a little bit extra time to recover because you're gonna want some energy for this last circuit. We have a squat jump forward, squat walk back, squat walk toe heel, toe heel. If you're not jumping, you're just going to squat walk forward and you're going to squat walk back. Let's do it. Using those arms. Staying low in that squat. I know it's mean. Putting a little power movement in right here at the end of your workout. It's on purpose. I'm doing it on purpose. I want to see where you're at. I want you to see where you're at. Beautiful. Burpee, down, step or jump back, step or jump in. Right here, jumping jack. If you're not jacking, you're star stepping. Star step both sides before you get right back into that plank. I want you jacking from the bottom of that burpee all the way to the top and all the way back down. This is the worst. This might be, this might be the worst. Woo, yes. Bring it down to the ground. Right here, we have crunch, crunch. Extending those legs out core pulling in, hips tucked under, shoulders are down. You're almost through. Bring it on up. Fast feet. Run it out. Nice and light on those toes. As quick as you can. Bring it on in. Either channel like that football player. Warming up for the game. Ooh, bring it out wide. Bring it in. 
bring it out. Last 10 seconds, add that punch. Couldn't talk, my abs are squeezing so hard. When you're punching, I want you to connect right there to your core to control that upper body movement. Oh man, all right, you know the moves. Back to that squat jump or squat walk. Oh, barely. I didn't get very far with that one. Here we go, here we go. You're right there. Give me one more. One more. Oh my gosh. Bring it down to the ground. This is also a super secret leg day. My arms, my legs are so tired. Bring it on up, fast feet, run it out. Last time we were on the football field, warming it up. Now we are J-Lo performing in front of an entire crowd. We're gonna bring it in. We're gonna shake our booty. We're gonna bring it out and then we're gonna punch it down. Core is squeezing, core is squeezing. Bring those feet in, bring them out. Bring them in, bring them out. Oh my God. Ah, we are almost through. We're gonna get super serious. This is super serious round. And we're gonna absolutely slay it. We're gonna give everything else we've got on this squat. We're gonna give everything, and I mean everything, in this burpee jumping jack. You're not supposed to like it. 
If you're like, but that's the alert worse. Yeah, it's the worst because it challenges you. It pushes you into that space, new territory. You showed up here for change. You wanted to feel strong. You wanted to feel connected to your body, whether or not you know that now. Maybe you just showed up today because you're like, I'm gonna burn and I wanna sweat all the calories. Maybe you showed up today because you're like, I'm so stressed. The only way I know how is to sweat it out. Oh, I forgot. I forgot what was coming. Now is that time to get all of it out. Don't worry about my pace. Don't worry about anybody else in the room that you're with. I want you to fo focus in on you and only you and show yourself what you've got right now in these freaking burpee jacks that Tessa made you do. Whoo! Yikes! Down to the ground. Right here. Connect to those abs right now. Release your, release your legs. You're gonna wanna squeeze your quads. Release. Make that mental shift in your body. Send that energy down into that core. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Four, three, two, last movement, my favorite. Right here, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. I want you to feel, I want you to feel it all. Feel the, feel the jiggle. Feel the shake, tighten up that core. Hands right here, we're gonna punch right here to the side. <sighs> to the other side. <sighs> punch the rest of all those, that stress, all that anxiety, all that energy that we keep and we hold on to. Bring it forward right now. Oh my God, let it all out. Ah. Feeling a little motivational today. All right. The hard part is complete. You can Click pause. You can go to my stretch video if you need to get on with the day, but make sure you stretch before you leave today's session. If you have some time, stick around. We're about to do a really quick little ab combination. Just, why not? All right. All right, bring it on down to the ground. We're gonna start with some basic movements today. Hands behind our heads, feet on the ground, tuck those hips in towards your rib cage. So we wanna remove that lower back arch and exhale it up for a crunch. You want that chin off the chest, reaching straight on up towards the ceiling. Elbows are out and the goal is just to lift those shoulder blades off the floor. As you lift, you're also pulling in that belly button down towards your spine and lift those legs. Keep those head and shoulders lifted for a leg lift. When we keep everything lifted, we're also that lower, 
We're working the lower abdominals as those legs lower and lift, but the upper abdominals are still working. Inhale and exhale. And bring those arms by your side. We're going to reverse crunch, but we're going to add a little twist. So side to side, lifting that hip up towards the ceiling. It is a very small movement. And bring it onto your side. Feet are forward, arm is extended in front of you. We're going to reach up and release. So we're lifting with that oblique. If this feels too difficult, you can always bend the knees or straighten. Or you can try both. I don't care. Whatever floats your boat. And switch sides. Arm is in front of you. Legs are slightly in front of you as well. Last one, Woo. and really quick break here. We're going to be moving into low planks. So onto your elbows, into a low plank hold. The hips are tucked under, belly buttons pulling in and up and lifted. I just want you to start here with a hold. And when that buzzer rings, we're gonna turn this into a dip, lift, dip, and lift. Lift one leg, shift your weight forward and back, replace and switch. Three, two, one, turn it onto your side. Feet are stacked, lower and lift. Woo. Three, two, other side. You are almost through. Two, oh my gosh, bring it on down to your back. Oh my gosh, let's just take this really quick rest right here. We're gonna do a leg lift, but we're gonna draw a big circle with our legs. So arms by our side, you're going to open like into a V, lower, drop it down, and then reverse and close. So we're doing a big open and close, open and close.
lowering those legs to that point of control, keeping that lower back pressed into the mat. Hands behind our head. We have bicycles side to side, nice and slowly. Elbows are wide, chin is off the chest. You're lifting that shoulder blade up off the floor. And finishing here with my favorite, double, dead bug, single, single, and both arms reach as both legs extend. Pressing that palm into the knee. We did it. It's officially over. Go ahead and stretch out that core. Sit back into your hips, reach those palms forward. Nice, beautiful, feel good child's pose. Activity completed. And bring it on up. Oh my sweaty goodness. Thank you so much for joining me today. That was awesome in all of the hard ways. Don't forget, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment, let me know how you did like this video if you liked it. And check out my website, testarraysbenz.com, where you can access calendars, programs, more fun ways to work out with me. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope to see you again right here for your next.